a rather more serious video. Rishi Sunik's rather strange plan to have pharmacies start doing bits of GP's work struck me as rather absurd. My local pharmacy is a pharmacy called Clockwork Pharmacy. It's part of a small chain. Um, I regularly visit them to pick up prescriptions, um, a rather a long, long list of prescriptions from one elderly family member. It's a rather busy pharmacy. It has um, an Asian gentleman who owns it, who is constantly, well, busy, isn't even begin to describe how much that man is running about. You have a Polish lady who's, I believe, a pharmacist in training. I think she may have finished her training. I haven't bothered to, to ask recently. She was quite near at the end of her last chat. And you have uh, another Asian lady who's a, another pharmacist. And you have a nurse who's sometimes there and has a side room where she'll do things like inoculations and shots for COVID and et cetera, et cetera. Now, that pharmacy is absurdly busy. Um, I was going somewhere the other day and decided to pop in. Um, this was at a dead point, or you would think it was a dead point of the day, when it <laughs> you would expect no one in there, like early in the morning, straight after opening. I walked in and there was a crowd you would not believe in there. There was a, a gen an elderly Caribbean gentleman who needed an inhaler and was looking very stressed about not getting his inhaler because his inhaler was in the other branch of the pharmacy, which is about 100 yards away. So the one of the pharmacists went to get it for him and bring it back again. And he was grumbling about, are they on their tea break and that, and creating a scene and being a bit silly about it, to be quite frank, as they were really busy. And he, But if you're having an asthma attack, it's probably not too funny. You had elderly people waiting for prescriptions. You had other people waiting for, for prescriptions. And you had a ton of prescriptions that all have to be checked, labelled and put away by the young girl who's the junior pharmacist. Now, how those four or five individuals in that store are supposed to find the time in between all that to be acting as almost junior GPs is beyond me as they're snowed under. But leaving that aside, what Rishi has forgotten is the number of pharmacies that are closing. Have a look. Rishi seems to have for actually forgotten that a load of pharmacies are actually in danger of closing down. Scores of local pharmacies closing across England. This is from, well, 8 of May 2023. So let's call it eight, eight months old or so for the sake of argument. From the BBC itself, the number of pharmacies in England has fallen by 160 over the last two years, BBC AC analysis shows. There are now 11,026 community chemists, and probably somewhat less since that was written, according to data from NHS Business Service Authority's the lowest number since 2015. Rising operational costs, staff shortages and reduced government financial support have been blamed. So the Rishi Sunak plan is to use your local pharmacy, which is already stretched tighter than a very tight thing and taut than a rubber band that's been stretched by elephants running at high speed in opposite directions, and use that. Now, I live in East London where the pharmacies are obviously going to get some funding at least and are regularly used and are highly used. Pharmacies in small country towns and villages simply aren't going to get that funding and are probably going to be the first to go out of business. This is Rishi applying, if you'll forgive the, the, the joke, a sticking plaster to a major wound. It's very, very silly. There are numerous articles showing the amount of pharmacies that are closing because they simply cannot sustain business because they're losing money hand over fist and can't go on. Here we are, Tory MPs from, like, last year. Even Tory MPs voice unease over Sonic. Here's Rishi Singh having his blood check, uh, checked by farmers Peter Balil. Um, uh, good Lord, uh, that tie stepped right out of the 1980s, and it should go right back again. Uh, it should never be seen again. That uh, farmer should, should hide that tie right down the back of the wardrobe and never take it out again. Um Rishi Sunak flew to the south coast and back by helicopter to announce a new government health policy on Tuesday. 
as he tried to calm conservative jitters after a disastrous set of local election results. I'm sure he did. What I'm finding hilarious is people going on about Rishi Sunak's parents being pharmacists. Great, my mother was a nurse, and my answer, doctor. Doesn't mean I'm one. I wouldn't have the first clue about how to do a prescription, know what I'd be allowed to do one. It's not... I, you don't absorb such information by osmosis and suddenly become one just because a, a family member is one. <laughs> my mother-in-law is a maths teacher. My ability to maths is abysmal. If this is a very strange set of logic uh, that because your family member was something, suddenly you have some special insight into it. About the most insight I can give you into being a nurse is the working conditions they had in the time period my mother was alive and the world she worked in then and some of the conditions she faced. But it doesn't suddenly make me one. But it, or you get all sorts of articles talking about how Rishi's mummy owned a pharmacy, which has been sold nearly a decade ago. And uh, Rishi's contact level with the average person of, say, Hackney, who's going to be often someone on a low income or elderly people needing a shed load of medication is zero. This is absolutely ridiculous stuff coming from the upper elite to, to the people of Britain and try to put repair a system that's badly broken. What's really needed is one more people who are trained to be pharmacists and two more people who are trained to be doctors and nurses and more investment there, not attempts to kind of prop up systems in very poor ways like this by applying like, oh, God, it's going to break if we're not careful and we're going to be overwhelmed fixers. As that BBC article makes plain the state of the problem with, if it's talking eight months ago, 160 pharmacies closed, I'm sure by now we may be looking at three, 400 closed. Where do those people go? Are, are, are people like the pharmacist in that picture going to have the time to suddenly start assessing coughs, colds, and small illnesses like that? Is this really a way to do that? Will they likely miss an illness at something else? Yes, because they're not going to have the time to do it when someone is arguing about this medication at the counter that's not quite what they wanted or asking why do they have to buy prescription charges or... Where has their prescription got and why and so on? Because that's the nature of retail. Um, Rishi seems to be living in a fantasy universe with this idea. 